In this chapter, let us learn more on string data type, the operations and applications which are relevant to string data types. After completing this chapter, you will be able to demonstrate the access as well as the indexing of the string data type with the index operator and slice operator and you will be able to apply different operations as well as methods on the string data type. Finally, you will be able to develop uh, Python programs by choosing suitable string operation or a method to solve a given a string processing problem. In this video, let us learn different string representation schemes accessing individual elements as well as the string segments with the slicing. Finally, we apply in and not in operators to check the existence of a character or a substring in the main string. We can represent a string with the single quotes. We can also represent a string with the double quotes. These are the two representation schemes where we can either use a single quote to represent a string or a double quote. The benefit of using double quotes is that even we can embed a single quotes within the string which is represented with the double quotes. Here is an example. You can see here we have used a single quote within a double quote. If we use a single quotes to represent a string, then this results in an error. In Python, we have number of uh, escape characters which are used to represent the characters which are impossible to put in a into a string and it's this escape sequence or character consists of a backslash followed by the character that we want to add to the string even though the escape character contain two characters it is commonly referred to as a single escape character here is an example where we have used the escape uh, the sequence that is escape character slash apostrophe to use uh, within the uh, string. This is one uh, way of uh, embedding a single quote within the string which is represent, represented with the single quotes. If we use a double quotes then we don't have to use this escape sequence. Likewise we have number of escape sequences. Let us go through these uh, escape sequences. Here is a table describing the important escape characters. As an example, let us demonstrate the use of a new line or a line break. Assume we have a single line of text with the two new line escape sequences. This produces a three line output. This is the first line and how I use the second line and final I am doing good, doing fine is the third line wherein we have used a slash apostrophe as a escape sequence to include that a single quote within the string. String forms. If we place a character R as a prefix to a string, then the string is called as a raw string. What is the speciality of this raw string? Raw string completely ignores all the escape characters present inside the string. 
Let us take up this example. Here we have marked this string as a raw string with the character R at the beginning of the before the quotations single or double quotation and you can see there is no effect of escape sequence slash apostrophe or a single quote. Similarly we have a multi line strings which are represented with the three single quotes or three double quotes and any tabs or any number of spaces quotes new lines between these triple quotes are considered as a part of the string and Python's indentation rule will not be applied to all the lines which are present inside a multi line string. This multi line string is also used for commenting a multiple lines where we need to document a program or a function with the more with the more than one line traditionally we use a hash mark which actually comments the rest of the line and if you want to span this comments onto multiple lines better we use this multi line strings that is you, you enclose the text which represents the comments with the three single quotes or three double quotes let us take up the example here is an example this is a multi line string we have enclosed this string with the one line space here and one more line space here with the three single quotes even we can use a three double quotes and the output of this is same as the string that is presented in this code and this is example for the multi-line comments you can see we have a multi-line comment here the text documentation of this function the author and the version of python is being documented with the multi-line comment here we are we have used a three double quotes even one can use a three single quotes this is one application of a multi-line string wherein we can document the code with the multiple lines as a comment strings use index as well as slice in the same way list do if we take up a string hello world it can be considered as a list of items where item is a character here is an illustration we create a string called hello world and I can access the specific element or a character by using this index operator and the expression which is of integer valued spam of 0 will return h spam of 4 will return o similarly we can retrieve the last character with the negative index spam of minus 1 will return exclamatory mark and also you can retrieve the portion of the string with the slice operator here we are retrieving the elements the first character till the fifth character 0 to 4 that means 0 1 2 3 4 hello will be retrieved and uh, like a string we can also omit the first index while using slice operator and this gives me all the characters from the beginning till fourth element there's an element character at position four 
and this gives me the last uh, the end of the string that is the world all the elements which start from index 6 will be returned till the end of the string if you specify a single uh, integer value then it is is an index and you can retrieve the character at that position and if you specify the range of index indices that is the first index and the second index then all the characters from the first index excluding the last index will be returned with the index operator that is colon like a list slicing a string does not modify the original string and if you want to modify the slice of a string we need to store that slice in a separate variable here is an example where we store the first half of this string that is hello in a separate variable and then we can process that slice that is hello in the subsequent code by slicing and storing the resulting substring in another variable we can access the main string as well as the substring and we can process them we can access the substring as well as the main string independently which improves the readability as well as the quick access to the string as well as the substring this is one uh, advantage of uh, storing the slices in a separate variable where we can have a quick uh, and handy access to the substrings uh, to the number of substrings as well as to the main string in and not in operators can be used with strings just like a list and tuples here is an example in the first example we check whether the substring is present in the another string that is hello world which returns true similarly we can test for the presence of a character here space is empty string is present in spam it results in true and uh, likewise you can even apply not in operator on the line of text or a string let us take up the examples first example is very simple to check the presence of a substring in a main string, main string what we have to do is we have to use the operator in operator to check whether the red substring is present in the main string and accordingly we can display a message here is a simple program we read main string as well as substring and we apply in operator whether substring is in main string display a message saying that substring is present otherwise display a message saying that substring is not present let us take up the second example to count the occurrences of a given character in this program let us read a line of text or a string and then we read one character wherein we are interested to display a count how many times the character is occurring or present in the given line of text we have to use a, a looping structure as well as the indexing start from the first character till the end of the string we have to check whether the given character is present at each of the locations with the index operator here is a code we read the main string and also we read the character initialize the counter to zero and also calculate the length of the string as a size then we apply a for statement for each of the index from zero to length of the string that is size minus one here and you check whether the character red character is present in the 
main string at a particular index starting from 0 to size minus 1. Okay, and if character is equal to the character the character at a given index then increment the count accordingly and finally you print the frequency of occurrence of a character in the main string as a integer number which is a count or a frequency of a, a frequency of occurrence of that character in the given line of text or a string in this video we used a different uh, string representation schemes single quotes and double quotes as well as the escape characters followed by the different forms of uh, representing strings as a single line string or a multi line string as well as the benefit of having multi line string to document the program logic or any other information pertaining to a program we use this multi line multi line strings as a comments to document the information and we access the string with the slice operator as well as the index operator and finally we applied in and not in operator to check a given character or a substring is present in a given line of text or a string.